saved by the goalkeeper. And she finished it. Hello guys and welcome to the second game of our doubleheader here on Facebook. It is Knockout Cup football here on Game and Frame and tonight we finished the John Kilby Cup. Yes, the John Kilby Cup final tonight. Second division Borgetto FC takes on Manhattan Celtic of the first division. Borgetto FC claiming top spot in the second division of their 10 games, winning nine and only losing one. And Manhattan Celtic ran a close race with New York Shamrock SC in Division One, only missing out by one point there. So a very interesting matchup. Borgetto already destined for Division One. Manhattan Celtic already a dominant force in Division One. We were lucky enough to cover Borgetto's semifinal matchup, and let's see the goal that set Borgetto into this cup final. It's so technical, that trio in the Borgetto midfield. And it's a long shot by Matino, and he's right in at the back post. What a strike, and the underdogs, Borgetto, score first blood. What a finish, fantastic finish, all, came in, uh, all coming from a little breaking in the middle. Broke a line, top of the box, fantastic shot, side netting, nothing the goalkeeper could do. Fantastic start for Borgetto. A truly magnificent goal that sent Borgetto into this final. It should be a heavily, heavily contested matchup. Uh, two very exciting sides. Uh, Borgetto side that will be facing FC Sanzac in the Division II playoff final next weekend. You saw that match here live on Game and Frame. FC Sanzac with a 1-0 win over FC Japan. But before we get into all that, let's see our Manhattan Celtic starting, lock, uh, starting roster. And it uh, begins with number three, Sean Doran. Number five, Sala Campo. The captain, number nine, Marco Chirinas. Number 11, John Leon. Number 12, Jack Barrett. Number 14, Danny Abertson. Number 17, Shady Amari. Number 18, Marquez Mayoras. Number 22, Kojo Asante. Number 23, Santi Mendez. Number 25, Connor Coleman. Number 30, Sam Marley. Number 33, Henry Smith. Number 50, Daniel Corman. And the aptly unnumbered goalkeeper, Dario Cabnas. And that is the Manhattan starting roster. There are two changes to that roster. Number 23 will actually be taken by center forward Diego and number one in the outfield, a central midfielder in Curtis. So just the two changes there to the Celtic starting roster. And let's take a look now at the starting roster for Division II winners, Borgetto FC. They are managed by Benny Di Pasquale and led by Ivo Mohorovic. We'll start with the goalkeeper, number one, Joseph Blasetti. And number three, Tristan Kermy. Number four, the defender, John Christian Rodriguez. And number five, Alex Ferreira. Number six, Jonathan Figueroa. Number seven, Marcelo Russo. Number eight, the dependable midfielder, Brandon Silva. One of the danger men up front, number nine, Angelo Bordenko. And his partner in crime, number 10, the captain, Alessandro Canacati. And we have number 11, Kevin Rodriguez. Number 12, Jesus Patino. Number 15, Matthew Hess. Number 20, Alexis Santa. Number 23, Matthias Adamak. Number 25, Jeffrey God. Number 29, Luis Vera. Number 31, Sergio Peralta. And number 32, Steven Fernandez. Number 37, Chris Valverde. Number 40, the reliable center back, Tommy Speed. Number 41, George Yusuf, and rounding it out, number 42, Alejandro Bastidas. And that'll round out your Borgetto FC starting roster. And we are expecting kickoff here in the next couple of minutes, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back with first kick.
Borgetto FC being presented their Division II top of the table trophy. They will be in Division I. So one piece of silverware already secured for Borgetto FC. They'll be going for a second tonight. We'll have kickoff in just a little bit. All right, guys, kickoff just about to get underway. Borgetto FC in their full black strip, kicking from left to right to start this first half. Manhattan Celtic in the white and green hoops, white shorts and white socks kicking from right to left. Both of these sides looking for their first ever Kilby Cup final trophy. And the Division I runner-ups face off against the top side in Division Two, a clash that we will most likely see next season in Division One, and a good litmus test now for Borgetto once again, who've already knocked off and have given Shamrocks of Division One the unbeaten title winners of Division One their only loss of the season in all competitions. 
And we're underway here. Cup final football, Randall's Island here, field 70. Pretty brisk conditions here tonight, a, a good wind rolling off the water here at Randall's Island. We'll see if that'll cool off the action on the pitch here. But Celtic just working it around the back to begin this match. It's a good ball played in behind here. Celtic could be in here early. It's a good ball whipped into the area. Was looking for was looking for Charnas, the captain just couldn't find him. And it'll go behind for a corner kick to begin. That was Yusuf on the block for Borgetto. Looks like Sam Marley will take the corner kick now for Celtic. It's a good ball whipped into the back post. A good stop there by the keeper. Cleared away well. And Borgetto looking to break forward now. And here's an opportunity. Borgetto has some numbers going forward. A really good tackle there. Linesman doesn't call for offside here. It's an opportunity for Borgetto early. What a good stop. Headed away off the line. And that ball off, off the bar. Bordenka denied by the crossbar. And we'll finally see a foul here, but Bordenka had a golden opportunity to put Borgetto ahead in the opening minute. Just can't finish, but a good goal line clearance there by Celtic. And it's already been a, an exciting first minute of action. And we'll see what Borgetto can work here from the set piece. It's a good ball whipped in towards the back post. And just shepherded out of play there. That was Yusuf again at the back post, but his touch put away, put behind. And Celtic will look to break from the back now. Goes back to Kubnas, and he's going to push that forward. And Yusuf, a pretty busy man here early on in proceedings. It's with him again. A good move around the defender there. That'll be a throw in on the far side. But even with the game only in its very infantile stages, it's been a very thrilling matchup in the first couple minutes. Borgetto seemed to be dominating possession in these opening moments. Tommy Speed now, the English defender. Does well. Marco can't make a tackle there. And Bordenka, he looks like he got fouled. And Speed continued his run from the back line. Beaten out. And it'll go all the way back for a goal kick, but Borgetto showing that they have a wealth in resources going forward. Tommy Speed making a, a run all the way back from, the, from his defensive position. And we'll see how Celtic respond. They had that opportunity early on, but haven't had really anything since. Speed will play a ball in long here, looking for Bordenka. Headed away. And this ball will go clear out of play. We have Borgetta throw in here on the near side. Back with speed. Looks to push that ball out wide, but Mahan do a good job of cutting it out. And we go all the way back to the goalkeeper who will look to move it forward again. Good job to get around his man, Sala. Good 
Yeah, Marley is an option to his left. Look to play inside. A good dummy there. And Yusuf does a good job to head that one away. And it'll be Mendez for the throw in on the far side. Here's Doran. And he's with Henry Smith. We'll go back to Doran. He's looking to have a bit more possession here. And here's a good opportunity now. If Sam Marley's on side here, no flag. A poor ball put into the area, cleared away by Borgetta. Only as far as the foot of another Celtic player. But Borgetta does well to clear it. Bordenka. Bordenka already a little we got a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a scuffle here. And already some tempers flaring here early on Bordenka. Bordenka and Smith. Already a chippy affair here in the cup final. We'll see cards for both. Bordenka and Smith. Both picking up yellows here early on. Referee setting the tone. We're going to see a substitution here early. And it looks like the goalkeeper swap. As Sergio Peralta will head into the net. And with that stoppage done, Borgetto will look to reestablish the rhythm that they've had so far in this first half. A really good move on the outside there. Doran heading that one away. John Sebastian can't get a header to it. And they'll continue to go forward. Good header away. And we'll see how that midfield battle continues to play out. But now it's Marley down wide. They're just playing it amongst each other. Now Doran. Big defender. Was... Oh, and a bad giveaway there. And it's a really tricky run here, and Borgento could be in. That's Bordenko on the outside. Make the and he'll score! That's the way! That's the way you go! Borgento opened the scoring here. Angelo Bordenka opens the scoring. It's 1 0 to Borgento. His opportunity off the crossbar early on. Back in shape, boy. And it's a 1-0 lead for Borgetto. And it is a fast start here for the Division II winners. And we'll see how Manhattan Celtic can respond. That little touchline scuffle seems to be the fuel that Bordenka needed to put his opportunity in the back of the net. And that one will find its way back to Peralta. And they will start the attack from the back. Tommy Speed being pressed there by Marco. But does well to get it. Wiggle his way out, and Borgetto just playing it around the back. And Tommy Speed with the ball once again. Speed will play that across to Kevin Rodriguez. They'll continue across the back line. Oh, and a good run on the ball here, out wide. Well kept in. Alexis Santa now. He's been pretty lively in these first couple of minutes. Now John Sebastian. Play this ball out wide now. Figueroa. That ball's out of bounds. Go back to Rodriguez. Played into the feet of John Sebastian. That sliding tackle only brought the ball back to him. Figueroa. Taking off the ball. And 
Some good physical play here by Manhattan Celtic. And Bordenka looks like he's putting Kanakathi, but it's going to get called for offside there, but a really good ball over the top by Bordenka. And Borgetto have looked much more the dangerous side here in the first half. We'll see how Celtic can respond, though. They have not had too much of the ball here in the first half. They had an opportunity on net in within the first minute, but since they've really been on the back foot. And that ball will be played across wide and cut out once again by Borgetto, but Celtic able to stop the bleeding a little bit, clearing it away. It'll be a, Bor it'll be a Borgetto throw in on the far side. And just giving away there. And now an opportunity for Celtic to break here. That's with Marley here on the near side. Puts inside. Now for Sean Doran. Now for Smith. Finds his way back to Norman or Corman. Doran will play it out wide. Oh, and it's a really good run here. And here's a good opportunity for Celtic. And it looks like we're going to see a foul here on Borgetto. So it's an er, a, a free kick opportunity. And on the run of play, this might be the best means for Celtic to find something out of this match. And some numbers in the box. They brought out the big center back, Sean Doran, who will almost certainly be a target in there. on an in-swinger towards the front post and headed behind wall. It'll be a Manhattan Celtic corner. It'll be their first of the evening, or their second of the evening. Their first since going behind, so we'll have to see what they can produce for these. It looks like it's John Leon to so take the corner. Ball looking long at the back post. Looking for handball at the back post, but can't find it. So Celtic see their opportunity go knocking. I believe that was Santi Mendez on the header there for Celtic. We'll see what Tommy Speed can do now. He'll find Bordenka once again. He's looking to switch the play there, looking for Alexis Santa who might be able to track down the loose ball here, but just can't get to it. Celtic have the opportunity now, have a little bit more possession. Campo. And kept well. Borgetto are showing tremendous motor here in the first half. A little captain on captain action here. Bordenka has the opportunity out wide. Now John Sebastian brings it back inside. Now with John Sebastian once again. John Sebastian brings it across to Patino. Patino has the ball here again. He's gonna, it's a good busting run through. He's still through here. And it's just shepherded out. And it will be a corner here. It's the first of the night for Borgetto. We currently lead 1-0 through the Alejandro Bordenka opener. And they'll take this one short. John Sebastian has his opportunity at the near post whipped out. Figueroa will leave this one for Brandon Silva. Kevin Rodriguez now plays it back to Brandon Silva. Now for Peralta. 
He'll have John Sebastian. He's gonna put the moves on Marco there. And they'll head forward. Patino. No foul given. Advantage being played here. It's an opportunity for Manhattan Celtic going forward. It's a good run at the back post. Not the service that Celtic was looking for going forward. Wall kept out there by John Sebastian. Alexis Santa now. He's got pace. He's going to put it inside for Patino. Here goes Santa once again. He's got numbers running inside. And a well put in tackle there by Marley. Doran will play it out wide to John Leon, but he can't get a foot to it. Now Patino once again, another tackle here. But this time we will see a foul called. And it's an opportunity just off center of goal. Oh, they'll take it quickly. Santa's got numbers running behind. Here's an opportunity for Borgetto. And the opportunity just, just wide. And Patino rolls that one past the back post, but the free kick taken quickly catches Celtic off guard. They cannot capitalize on that opportunity. They still looked much more lively than Celtic to begin. Let's see Doran. That ball just a bit too far in front, and it will go out for a Borgetto throw in. And John Sebastian has to play that back to Tommy Speed. He'll play that one across to Brandon Silva. And Silva now brings it out wide. That was Yusuf on the run, but now we're back to John Sebastian. Alexis Santa just misses that ball, so he's, his overrun ends up helping him a little bit. Yusuf wants to get out wide. He'll go to John Sebastian. Gets the ball out from under his feet. John Sebastian has a rip. Can't find it, but it's still an opportunity in the box for Jonathan Figueroa, but he'll see his opportunity kept out there. Kevin Rodriguez still with an opportunity here to put in another ball into the area. It's good towards the back post. And the headed opportunity there. Kanakati just gets a head to it. But right at the keeper. Borgetto continue to turn the screw here early on. And they'll go out wide now. And Celtic have not had much luck going forward so far. This Borgetto defense, and really this Borgetto midfield has done a really good job of cutting out potential attacks. But here's an opportunity for Celtic now. And Marco can't catch up to that ball. Tommy Speed does really well to get back there. Body block, the Celtic captain. And it's Santo once again down that far side. And he is tormenting his defender on the wing. Santo with good footwork here. He's got John Sebastian to his right. He opts to try and get that one into Katakati. Just can't get there. And Doran will clear that one away. And looks to start an attack here for Celtic. Advantage being played here. Celtic have an opportunity to break forward. And Marley's going to get the ball out here on the near side. He's got Corman running on the overlap. He's going to find Corman. And he tries to put that ball in, and it's going to spin out for a corner. And it's another, another rare foray into the Borgetto half. Results in a corner for Manhattan Celtic, and another opportunity to get that big number three into the box. I have some numbers lurking on the outside of the area. Corman coming close for the, looks like Leon, gonna whip a ball towards the back post. And it's a good header. And it'll be a foul on the keeper there. Looks like it'll be on Kojo Asante. Tommy Speed now. 
And some good, some good pressure by Celtic. But looks like we'll call foul there and they'll continue working it out. Now Peralta, he's got Marco tracking him down and Peralta very nearly lost the ball there. And that ball played out wide. That's a good battle out there. We're to come away with it. Now John Sebastian, he'll look to break forward. He's got Figueroa. Figueroa breaks inside to Kevin Rodriguez. Back to John Sebastian. Sebastian moving forward. John Sebastian he takes a little bit of shove there. Referee pays no mind to it. Kevin Rodriguez now with the ball. Go back to John Sebastian. It's a good ball in. Headed away. And Celtic having a little trouble with the clearance here. And Patino and Santa surrounding the Celtic defenders. And Celtic now have an opportunity on the break here, but Borgetto moving back well in defense. But here comes Celtic. That'll be Marley out wide. Marley's got numbers in front of him. Corman now. Inside to Leon. Now Marco looking for the run of Asante, but just can't get behind him. Brandon Silva does a really good job there, but Corman's going to pick up the ball again. That one will be played wide to Asante. He's going to try and roll Corman inside, and Brandon Silva wins that 50-50 challenge. And two pretty physical guys getting into a good 50-50 there, but Brandon Silva coming out on the better side of it. Peralta now for the Borgetto goal kick. A really high line being held by Manhattan Celtic. But they'll get the ball here. And the clearance by Tommy Speed, not the greatest. So it's an opportunity now. Marley out wide. He's gonna have an opportunity to put something into the box here. Can't find the captain Charnas. But Celtic are getting closer. There's always that, that worry in the back of their minds that Borgetto have the ability to get forward and the ability to score pretty much at will. And Corman, no foul given. And Corman definitely feeling like he was failed. Figueroa now standing over Corman. John Sebastian now. Plays it out wide. It'll be Yusuf. He's got Alexis Santa in front of him. He cuts inside. And looking for the run of Kanakati, but just can't find him. It's that good pressure from Borgetto once again, but now with Asante. And Celtic, after going down, have responded pretty well. It's a really good run here down the line. And we're going to see a foul there. Looks like they're going to call the pullback there on Brandon Silva. So Borgetto will look to move forward again. John Sebastian comes across with Tommy Speed. He'll go inside to Alexa Santa. And Asante looking to track down on that side, but can't get to it. And now Patino has an opportunity. The defender's fallen down. And Patino's got an opportunity out wide here. He's got some numbers forward. He's got Kanakati and Bordenka inside. Now back with Santa. Kevin Rodriguez. Now with John Sebastian. Now he'll switch the play over to Figueroa. John Sebastian. Back to Rodriguez, just working it across the area now. Alexis Santa. Now they'll look to move inside. Patino swarmed by Celtic shirts. No foul given. And Celtic can move now. It's with Asante. And Asante looking to make the run in behind Yusuf, but Yusuf showing off his legs there. Sean Doran, the big midfielder, taking that one down well. That's a good opportunity to whip a ball into the box, but Charnas gonna be flagged for offside there. Thought he had the beating of that Borgetto back line, but they remained pretty resilient and have, are holding that line pretty true.
And we're into the later stages of this first half now. And Borgetto have definitely had more of the positive possession going forward, but credit Manhattan Celtic after going down after a pretty, pretty rocky first five or so minutes. They've really settled down at the back. They haven't given Borgetto too much to work with. Asante now is going to have an opportunity out wide. John Sebastian does a good job of closing down. A Bordenka goal separates the sides. 1-0 still. A challenge here. No foul given. Calling that a fair challenge. Now trying to up top. He's got Marley running to his left. They'll feed it to Corman, but his shot spinning out wide. And still a Borgetto player on the floor. We're going to make sure this Borgetto player is OK. It's Jesus Patino. And he's back up and moving now. And the referee has waved play on. Figueroa. It's closed down by Marley, but ends up getting a header there. Salacampo does well. And it goes back to Doran. Looks to play out wide to Leon. And some good moves there by Connor Coleman. Back to Doran. And a ball looking for Asante at the back post. Henry Smith whipped a good ball in just a bit too far ahead. Peralta now for the goal kick. And Celtic really committing men forward. And Celtic do well to close that down. Celtic looking to get inspiration from their manager. And that ball put in long. Kanakati is onside here. And Doran tracking down. The captain. And that'll go back out wide to John Sebastian. And now with Kevin Rodriguez. And just an opportunity now for Borgetto to hold a little more possession. So it goes out wide. And Alexis Santa tries to turn, but it's a good tackle there by the Celtic defender. That'll be a throw in on that side. Rodriguez now. He'll take a one-two. Go back to John Sebastian. Well cut out there by Celtic, but it'll be a Borgetto throw in. And doing well to play at the back. Looks like they'll call a foul there. Celtic now have an opportunity just to relieve a little bit of pressure now with Doran. Now Henry Smith across to Marley. Marley looking for the run there of Charnas, but he's just held up and Asante having to chase Peralta who came off his line. It was a little bit of an in-between ball there, but Asante forces a save out of Peralta. Well, I, I think they're looking to see if that was a handball outside of the area, but it's not called. So it'll be a throw in here on the near side. Both sides just growing into the game a bit as this first half kicks on. Smith can't find Campo, but Doran goes back to Smith and they'll go all the way back to Cabanas. He'll put that ball in deep for Charnas. Can't find him, but Corman now having to fight with Figueroa. And Kevin Rodriguez. Oh, and a tough tackle there 
nothing, nothing fit called, but now Leon called for the foul there, or a foul against Leon called. Looks like they're going to get John Sebastian on a foul there. So this will be an opportunity for Manhattan Celtics to put a ball into the box. Looks like it'll be Daniel Corman. They're throwing Sean Doran forward again. It'll be a man to mark at that back post. Asante and Charnas in the box as well. And they're looking for Sean. He's got a header inside. And that ball well headed away. Can't get that ball for Marley. Now it's an opportunity for Bojeta to break. A great sliding tackle there by Corman. Charnas now has the opportunity here. to get around John Sebastian. Now he's working on Figueroa. Marley. Kanakashi coming back in defense well. Smith. Now to John Leon. And some trickery on the wing there. Sala Campo now inside. He's going to play a ball out to the wing. Looking for Kojo Asante, who's onside here. Asante has an opportunity to put a ball into the area. Well kept out, though. It'll be a, it'll be a, a corner kick for Celtic. And credit to them, they have been able to get corners in the Borgetto half, just haven't been able to get anything out of them yet. But Daniel Corman will step up to take it. And the likes of Doran and Charnas in the box. Corman lofts that ball up top, looking deep. Look for Connor Coleman, but uh, it looks like Coleman was already offside. No, it looks like they're calling a goal kick that Weinsman being very slow and non deliberate with his movements. Morgetto will take it quickly. It's with Alexis Santa out on the wing. And his trickery has put a couple of Celtic players on ice, on skates, already in this game. Borgetto now just holding. Brandon Silva plays it up top. Chested well. John Sebastian hangs on. Tino. Passes all the way back to Tommy Speed. Now Speed will have a run. Well cut out by Celtic. Call for handball there, but nothing, nothing called there. Salacampo then goes back to Doran. They'll go across Leon. That ball spins out. It's a Borgetto throwing on the far side. And they'll head back to the keeper, Peralta. I'll go across to Tommy Speed. Speed goes back to Peralta. Charnas just hanging around the area. Now, Kevin Rodriguez. That's a good one-two play here. John Sebastian, get around the defender. John Sebastian with a great run here has taken out a couple of Celtic defenders and finally be called on the pullback there. And we will see Celtic player in the book there. It's already their second player in the book this half. And both sides saw yellow card for that early incident with Bordenka on the touchline. But Borgetto not committing too many men forward. Looks like Brandon Silva will come up to take this free kick. That's a really good ball, worked in well behind and a scuffed header, but Kanakati was already running the other way. And Bordenka now has an opportunity to work on Marley. Bordenka whips the ball inside, Kanakati. And what a save. What a save, Kanakati with a great header. And Cabanas 
makes an equally miraculous save and keeps Celtic in this first half. And Marley's going to get called there for a foul on Bordenka. No card given. But it's another opportunity for Borgetto to put a ball into the box here. Kevin Rodriguez now leaving this ball for John Sebastian Rodriguez. Committing a few more men forward here. That's a good ball whipped in, but cleared away all the way back to Asante. And Figueroa does well to get around Asante, but illegally in the referee's mind. And the Celtic players are calling for a yellow. Doran will get the start of the play started again. We'll go out wide now. That one's spinning behind. That's another Borgetta throwing. Still 1-0 here as we tick down the last couple minutes here of this first half. That Bordenka goal separates the sides. And then just moments ago, Kanakati's header saved off the line by Cabanas. So Borgetto were knocking on the door for a second. Figueroa now. And his pass just spins out. Only well, gonna find Bordenka going forward, but Figueroa's pass ends up spinning out just wide. Salacampo now goes back out wide. Celtic just playing it around their back line again. Doran just with a little one-two. They'll look to play a ball up to Asante, but only finds the head of Brandon Silva. And Leon does well. No foul given. It's an opportunity for Celtic. And Asante beats his man. Asante's got an opportunity to run into the area. Asante and a good block there by Tommy Speed. And Tommy Speed does well there to bully Asante out of the out of the play, and we're going to see looks like another card here. It's like, I believe John Leon heading into the book now. Tommy Speed did really well to recover there, and Asante was already on, it was on track to goal, but a really good stop there by Tommy Speed to get that deflection away and start the attack the other way and get a Celtic player in the book. go all the way back to Peralta. Now with Tommy Speed. And a good move there by Tommy Speed to beat the Celtic attacker. But Marley there keeps it John Leon. Charnas just gets it taken off his feet. Peralta, going to boot that long, looking for Kanakati, but Salacampo does well to <laughs> take that out. And we have a couple of substitutions now coming in. Marcelo Russo, Chris Valverde, and Steven Fernandez will come in as Bordenka, Kanakati, Jesus Patino are the three to come out for Borgetto. Now with Fernandez. That ball. Long up top. Leon finds Asante, who's looking for the run of Charnas. And that ball booted away. And it'll be a throw in here on the near side as Marley will take for Celtic. But just, just the last few minutes here. Trying to an opportunity in the box. He's going to whip it at the back post for Asante, who gets a free swing at it, but ends up just bobbling it up in the air. 
And a free kick given away there by John Sebastian. And we will see our first change for Manhattan Celtic. Danny Arvidsson will come in. And that'll be the last first half action we see for John Leon. But it's a good opportunity here right in front of the net. Where Jets are gonna put a good wall in front of it. It looks like it's Charnas and Sam Marley, I believe, standing over it. But it looks like they'll leave it to Charnas. We'll see what the captain can do from the dead ball. It's a good ball in. That shot is always going. So the keeper had a good eye on it. It was a good save by Peralta. But that shot did not trouble him. That was a good ball played into the middle of the area, but Salacampo was able to cut it out, but his pass goes nowhere. And Alexis Santa now looking to play in, and here's an opportunity. And that shot just rolls by at the near post. Chris Valverde was found at that far post, but just got held up at the edge of his own area, and that shot ended up spinning wide at the near post. So, Borgetto is still 1-0 up. Oh, but it's a bad giveaway in front of the goal here. It's a rough first touch. Steven Fernandez was looking to get on with the Kevin Rodriguez, just couldn't handle that pass over the top. And for as good as Celtic have been in response, oh, and it's another bad giveaway here. And it's a ball pointed behind us, an opportunity in front of the net. A good save by Cabanas. Cabanas. Marcelo Russo almost getting it from Steven Fernandez. Off the poor giveaway there, but the keeper makes himself big and makes a good save, so. It's a corner kick. Looks like it's Kevin Rodriguez to take on this near side. And he loves the ball in towards the back post. And Yusuf gets a header to it, but it's only headed away as far. And a, oh, and a half volley opportunity. Hit it pretty true, but unfortunately can't find the back of the net. I believe that was Alexis Santa that took that opportunity and it wasn't too far away. Borgetto are very much looking like the more likely side to score the next goal in this match. And you think the 2-0 is gonna be a pretty tough mountain to climb for Celtic. They've defended well for the latter half of this first half. Here's another opportunity for Borgetto. Fernandez, he's got two defenders in front of him. It's gonna land in front of Fernandez. He's still available in the box. Fernandez sees his shot blocked and Cleared away, Figueroa. And that ball goes back, but only to John Sebastian. We'll recycle possession now again with Yusuf. Gets around his man, but that ball left for Valverde. And we'll see if it's a free kick. Either a free kick or a throw in. I think it's a throw in on the far side for Borgetto. We're taking over into the final moments here of the first half. And Borgetto definitely will be the more, the, the happier of the two sides, but also frustrated that they haven't put this match away yet. Oh, and a really good run here. It's another opportunity. So could Borgetto get a second before the end of the half? Santa's offside. But what a ball in by Marcelo Russo. Some really good one-two passing. Borgetto almost doubling their lead before the half. But they've had the bulk of the opportunities here in the first half. And Celtic will feel pretty lucky that they've gotten away with some of the chances they've let up in defense. And they'll be looking for that spark plug going forward in the second half to stay in it. Haven't really been able to find Charnas or Asante. And that ball will roll behind and it'll be a throw in for Manhattan Celtic on that far side. <laughs> and 
Celtic will hold on to that one after a little bit of play on the far side with another throw in. They'll go all the way back to Doran. Henry back to Doran. And that will be the end of the first half here in the John Kilby Cup final. Borgetto 45 minutes away from their second trophy of the season. It'd be their first time lifting the John Kilby Cup. And it's an Alejandro, it, Angelo Bordenko, Angelo Bordenka. First half strike that separates the sides. Don't go anywhere. We'll have the second 45 for you right after this.
Second half action here under the lights at Roosevelt Island. Oh, not Roosevelt Field. Uh, <laughs> Roosevelt Island. No, this is definitely Randall's Island. There we go. One nil to Borgetto. The Angelo Bordenka strike separating the sides here. And it was a very intense 45 minutes from this Borgetto side. But Manhattan Celtic have remained resilient. They've had a couple of really good opportunities from corner kicks and some free kick opportunities outside the area as well. But Borgetto have had much more of the positive possession. So we'll see how the second 45 plays out here. We will have a first time cup winner here of the John Kilby Cup. Neither side having won this trophy before, they'll be looking to etch their name into the Cosmopolitan League history books. And we'll look at some of the players that Borgetto are starting with Marcelo Russo, Kevin Rodriguez, Brandon Silva, Peralta in goal, Christian Valverde out there as well. John Sebastian on the back line. Tommy Speed continues to be out there. Steven Fernandez is out there as well. And Celtic are running out with the same lineup they had at the end of the first half. So Arvidsson on for John Leon. And second half action getting underway. And we'll see how Borgetto defend this 1-0 lead. They looked much the better side in the first half, but Celtic are hanging in there. They've had multiple opportunities to extend their lead, Borgetto, but the Celtic back line has done a really solid job of keeping them out. But here's an opportunity now. Out wide for Valverde. He'll look inside. John Sebastian has pushed up. John Sebastian is shot well over the bar, but Borgetto wasting no time getting back into their rhythm. Cabanas will take the goal kick. He's going to hit that one up long, but headed away well. That's Fernandez out wide. Fernandez, oh, with a good instep. Looking for Alexis Santos, just can't find him, but a good, uh, good idea there. Catching the back line a bit off guard, but uh, off guard, but Cabanas doing well. Cleared away well. And we're gonna see, it looks like a foul called on Marcelo Russo there. That's Marcus Moraes, Mayoras, sorry. Marquez Mayoras comes out worse on that tackle. Doran just having a little bit of conversation with the referee. And Mayoras back onto his feet. Rides out that tough tackle. Doran feeds it to Corman. They'll go out wide to Henry Smith and looking for Charnas, but he is caught in an offside position. Borgetto will start here. Kevin Rodriguez with a really good turn there. That ball heads out wide. It's an opportunity. They'll cut inside Marcelo Russo. He's going to have a shot here. Marcelo Russo is going to blow that opportunity over the top of the bar. So they've had shots here early on, but it seems like it'll take a little bit to get that second half shooting on target. And Celtic will be seeing the warning signs here. It's a really good ball cut out well there by Chris Valverde, but Celtic do a good job of playing it out. And Arvidsson finds Asante here. This is a really good opportunity for Celtic 
Let's get back onto the board. Asante beats a couple of Borgetta defenders. He's still out wide on the wing. He's got Connor Coleman in support, but cleared away. And Alexis Santa feeds this back, and it's cleared away. And Marcelo Russo will pick up. He'll draw the foul there on Sean Doran. It seems like it seems like that may be Doran's last warning before he's put in the book. Alexis Santa will stand over this now. He's got a runner inside. Russo and Doran still jawing at it. Alexis Santa plays that inside. It's another good idea to catch them out quickly, but just can't find the feet of George Yusuf. And now with Doran again. He'll go out wide to Marley. Now back to Henry Smith. Doran's pass cut out there by John Sebastian. And Borgetto looking to push forward once again. He's going to put a ball in at the back post. Marcelo Russo It's cut out. Asante does well there, but his pass cut out. And Santa with a really good touch there around Sala. Corman. And here comes, here comes Celtic. Some dancing around the back line. Doran plays it up top. Arvidsson, and he'll find Coleman out on the wing. Coleman's cross cut out there by Yusuf, but Celtic will hold on to the ball here. It'll be another throw in. So a good little period of sustained pressure from Celtic, but Yusuf blasts that one. Alexis Santa's gonna win this ball here. Santa has nobody in the box yet, three on one, but he's got the speed. He's around the defenders. He's looking at the near post, but that ball is kept out and looks like it's gonna be a corner kick. So Alexis Santa with a bit of heads up play there. Will win a corner kick here for Borgetto. And they'll look to double their lead now. There's two goals. It would be a, a mountain for Celtics to climb. John Sebastian gets the ball off the short corner and it's whipped in well, but headed behind. And Cabanas holds that well. And he rolls that quick, but Santa is able to cut it off. <clears throat> and the pressure not gone yet, and John Sebastian dispossessed there. But some careless goalkeeping at the back here. Yusuf is looking for Marcello Russo long. It looks like Henry Smith was able to cut it out. No corner given. The Borgetto players were protesting for it, but won't get it, and now Celtic will work it at the back from Doran. That's Mayoris. Asante, and Asante's closed down. And it'll be a Celtic throw in. Coleman looking for the run of Asante, but just beaten, unfortunately. So still early in the second half, Borgetto still 1-0 up. The Angelo Bordenka strike is what separates the sides. And that one hit up long. And it's a good header there. Coleman will keep this one in play. And now Sala to Arvidsson. He'll go across. Carmen, and he's taken out. And Figueroa pick up a card there, but no free kick opportunity. 
for Celtic as Corman works a good free kick out of that. So it'll be an opportunity to pile some numbers forward here for Manhattan Celtic. And it'll be the man who won the foul, Corman, to stand over the ball. Got some big figures in the box. We'll see if Celtic can capitalize this ball. Whipped in toward the back post, and Doran is going to put a header across the net. And scuffs at the ball, but Doran went for the layoff and couldn't pay off. And now Borgetto are on the break here. Alexis Santa. And we've seen what his pace can do in this game so far. No one in the box, but he's got one man to beat. Alexis Santa! Just flashed over the bar, but Borgetto are getting closer to that second goal. That was a golden opportunity for Borgetto to double their advantage. Alexis Santo, his pace is really causing fits at the back for Manhattan Celtic. This ball cleared away. Asante gets ahead on it, but it only goes to Yusuf. Now Kevin Rodriguez across to John Sebastian. It's a good run here by Valverde. Valverde looking to work on his man. He's looking towards the edge of the box, and Alexis Santa sees his shot block. Kevin Rodriguez gets that ball back to Figueroa, but his pass is cut out, and now Celta can get forward. And he's got a runner forward in Asante. He's going to look to find him. And Asante's there. And Brandon Silva's tackle misses. And Asante's got an opportunity to put a ball into the box here. He's got some runners into the box. And we will see a foul right on the edge of the area. And Manhattan Celtic will see a substitution here. Number 23, Diego, checking in for the hoops. And Marley will be the one to come out. And Diego, number 23, checking in for Celtic. It'll be his first stint in the match. The new addition we did not have on the roster card, but we'll see what he can do in the area here. It's a short corner. Two in the wall for Borgetto. That ball whipped in towards the back post. And that one's deflected away. It looked like it was Connor Coleman at the back post. That ball just touched away. Couldn't be too careful, but that ball deflected away. And they'll take this one short, Arvidsson. And can't get the connection that he wanted. And now Borgetto will look to break again. Alexis Santa. He gets closed down by Mayoras, but Arvidsson just can't collect the ball here. And it goes out wide. Fernandez trying to put Doran on ice, but the Celtic defenders do well to close it down. And they'll look to break themselves now, Celtic. That's Mendez. Now they're going forward. What can Celtic do here? They've got one in the box, and that cross cut out by Tommy Speed. And cleared away. And Asante found himself behind the play. Alexis Santa does a good job of making that ball a bit more 50-50. And Borgetto will come away with it now. But Corman does a really good job of collecting the ball here. No foul given. But that ball will go all the way back to Peralta in net. Approaching the halfway point in the second half, Borgetto still just one nil up. Looking to really put the game away. Asante with a good tackle there. And Yusuf with the throw in now. But Borgetto through the Angelo Bordenka strike. Remain one nil up. It was the score line they needed to beat no, no, no. New York Shamrocks in the semifinal. 
and I'm sure they would take it as the result here in the final, though they would love to get an insurance goal here in the second half. Doran does really well to keep that one away. Arvidsson gets juked out there by Alexis Santa, but he's able to hold on to it. Santa, now with a Santa. John Sebastian cuts inside for Fernandez and Asante out wide, or uh, sorry, uh, John Sebastian. Now with Kanakati, or sorry, with uh, Kevin Rodriguez. Alexis Santa, he's onside here, no one covering him. And Santa has the beating of his man, but ends up slipping in the box and bailed out here. And now Diego with his first touch of the match. Looking to work on Valverde. And he'll get that pass through to Sala. And now Celtic are going through. Diego's continued his run. So it's Charnas and forward. And he's looking for Diego at the back post. Oh, and no flag up for Diego. He just slices that shot. But a warning sign for Celtic and Diego offering a, a bit more going forward than what we've seen so far from Manhattan Celtics. So it'll be interesting to see wh wh what positions he's holding going forward. It looks like a more attacking move as Celtic are moving to just three at the back. And this one comes through. John Sebastian looks over the top. It's a good header away. And Coleman just puts that one behind. It'll be a, a Borgetto corner. Diego front, front of the three, short. Get Diego front of the three. And Santa in no rush to take the corner here. Santa now plays the corner short to Kevin Rodriguez, but his touch just takes it out of play. And that ball, great up top of Sante, can't bring it down. No find Valverde. Valverde looking to slip in Marcelo Russo behind. Cabanas, the good save, and it'll go out for a goal kick. One of the most clear cut opportunities that Borgetto have had in this second half to double their advantage. And no foul down there by Figueroa. And a pretty industrial tackle. And a throw in for Manhattan Celtic. And Sala loses the touch on the ball. And here come Borgetto again, Santa. Now with Kevin Rodriguez. Kevin Rodriguez with a good move there. That ball comes off of the head of a Manhattan Celtic defender. Oh, and Santa can't put away the gift. It was well defended by Celtic, who gifted them the chance. <clears throat> and Asante making a run forward, but he's cut off by the Borgetta defenders. And Asante will get called by a foul there. What do you want him to be? See what do you want him to do? I'll tell you what he walked off there. Been playing, man. And here's an opportunity now. Kevin Rodriguez. A ball that's well kept out of the front post. Keep him there, keep him there, keep him there. Oh, Brandon Silva. <laughs> Brandon Silva.
and we're back now. Uh, tough injury from for Brandon Silva. Uh, just taking a, a bit a bit of time to, to come back. We'll see the substitution of Jeffrey God or Jeffrey Gad to come on number 25. About 25 minutes remaining in the match. Uh, so we'll see we'll see two substitutions here as Jeffrey Gad comes in and Alexis Santa will come off and we'll see Alejandro Bastidas. And play has resumed here. So 27 minutes remaining in this match. And Morgetto are within touching distance now of the Kilby Cup. And being hounded on the wing now. Doing well, and it's it's opportunity for Marcelo Russo in the area, in the shot, oh, and just tipped over the top. Marcelo Russo played in well there, and it was the previously unnumbered but now numbered Celtic number one, Cabanas, who has really kept Celtic in the match in these last couple minutes. So it's a corner kick opportunity now. Borgetto will look to extend their lead. And that ball put in long. Sean Doran almost puts it into his own net. That's the kind of service that he's looking for in the other penalty box, but lucky that his keeper was alert to the danger. And Figueroa went up for that ball, missed it, and Tarnas. Came down with it, and now Corman. And Charnas is looking to play his man forward, but Peralta does a really good job there of putting a stop to that attack. Forgetto now out wide, and looked like that was Bastidas on the outside. He gets fouled. And it'll be Kevin Rodriguez over the free kick. Now it'll be taken long. Oh, and a good juke out move there. It's an opportunity here for Borgetto, maybe to get their second. Really good move in, in the area. It's laid off for Marcelo Russo, or laid off for John Sebastian. And that ball's gonna spin away. It's another corner kick. Borgetto just looking to turn the screw. The second goal would really cement this tie. The ball's an in-swinger. Ends up going to Marcelo Russo, and it's Kevin Rodriguez from outside of the area, has a pop. Manhattan Celtics so far in the second half haven't had too many opportunities in front of the net. They've been getting closer. Nepal. Now Cabanas has to deal with this Borgetto attack. Nepal put up long and a really good ball kept out there by Tommy Speed. And it's Coleman on the far side to take the throw in. Coleman looks to play to the feet of Carnas, Charnas. And it'll be a Borgetta throw in. And that 50 ball cut out, but it was a bad touch there by Doran. And now it's an opportunity here. And Valverde has two to beat, but Valverde's touch Asante does well to 
keep it out. And Asante does well to cut that ball out wide as well from Bastidas, but it'll go back inside. Kevin Rodriguez goes wide. So this Figueroa. And that ball cut out. Trying to stop top now. And just can't find the run up top. And Peralta's come well out of his area. And he'll clear that one forward only to the boot of the Celtic defender. Mayoris looks to go over the top to Asante and he got, he's, he's found him. And Valverde does well to keep that one out. And it'll be a throw in for Celtic. Haven't had too many forays in the Borgetto half. I'll look to capitalize here. Arvidsson draws a free kick. And this is where Celtic will really fancy themselves here. Borgetto a bit careless with the foul in their area. Up 1-0. Just about 15 minutes left to go. Plus some stoppages. And Celtic make it an interesting evening. It would be very much against the run of play. But Celtic have defended well. Corman's going to whip a ball in at the near post. Header just put over the bar. The captain, Charnas, just gets under that, ends up hitting it off the top of his head, and it'll spin over the top. But that's, that's where Celtic look the most dangerous. And here's an opportunity. Once again, it's Valverde working on one. And Mayoris stands up well there. Kept up top. Charnas. Corman. To go away across to Doran. And that's Coleman out wide. And Arvidsson does well to hold on to that ball. Haven't seen much from the substitute Diego in this first half. Here's Corman once again. He's being Oh, he's put a good move on. He's got an opportunity here. Puts a ball into the area. A Peralta, oh, and the shot is deflected. Peralta drops the ball, and the header is off the post. It's the closest Celtic have come in this half. The closest the Celtic have come in this game. But they'll go again. Out wide. Figaro doing well. Figaro with a clean tackle. Out wide on Diego, and that'll go behind for a, a Borgetto goal kick. And we'll see two subs here. It's Kent coming on for Mayoras and Jesus Patino comes in. For Chris Valverde. And that ball headed back. Jack, not too far, Matt. Kojo, Kojo, come deeper, deeper, deeper here. Yeah. Guys, man. That ball looked up long for Charnas, but still an opportunity here. Patino does well to almost dummy that ball. Kent has some good one two play here to get to Asante. John Sebastian does well to. Keep Asante off the ball. And that'll go wide out to Jeffrey. Good shot. And Doran is going to get called for a foul there on Marcelo Russo. Because I was Steven Fernandez on the ball, not Jeffrey Gad. So two over the ball here. Now three over the ball for Borgetto. Aren't committing too many men forward. Tommy Speed coming up from the back. Mate, off the field. Back off, please. And that ball whipped in long, but headed away. Corman. Corman being tracked down there, but that ball kept now by Borgetto with Bastidas. And 
Kevin Rodriguez. Tommy Speed now pushing up high. And it's an opportunity for Bettina and Bastidas. And it's a great shot put in. Keeper just holding on to a wall. Tommy Speed coming all the way up from defense and putting a good shot on net. Just doesn't get the bend that he wants a bit too much inside. And keeper able just to handle it. So John Sebastian now for Borgetta. Some good one, two touches. Go across now to Jeffrey God. And that ball just too far ahead of Patino. And Sala now. Back to Doran. Kent. Asante. Asante nutmegs. Jeffrey God. And no card there for the newly substituted Jeffrey God. Corman will have an opportunity to whip this ball in. Corman with a good ball. And flicked onto the near post. Would have been. Lyman had flagged for offside, but a good ball put in by Celtic there. Corman hasn't had the opportunity to put in too many balls. And Borgetto have the throw in now. Through Gad. The throw down the line, headed away by Kent. And Asante looking for Charnas. And it's a foul there on the captain. And Yusuf remaining on the turf. Kevin Rodriguez will get the match started once again. Now with Tommy Speed. And it's been a bit of a touch and go pace the last couple of minutes. Now Marcelo Russo. Can Borgetto finally put away their second chance? And Doran with a good job of keeping Marcelo Russo out of the area. But they'll surrender a corner again. And this would very much be the landmark victory for Borgetto this season. As this ball whipped in at the front post, it gets through a couple of bodies and only deflected away. And the keeper makes a good save there. Steven Fernandez ends up shooting a dribbler at the keeper, but Borgetto already knocked off Shamrock to be here. So beating both, beating the top two in the first division would be a huge accomplishment for this Borgetto side and would give them a ton of confidence going into division one of being very early favorites. Arvidsson does well to keep that there. Now Charnas finds Arvidsson again. And here's the run in behind. And the, and the flag goes up. And now here is Curtis making his first appearance. And his first introduction into the match, Curtis. Coming out is Daniel Corman, who's had a good match. He's done well, he's put in some really good balls. And Sala takes that down. And that ball handled well, and Borgetto will 
take it once again. And Fernandez. Fernandez almost winning a battle outside, but just can't handle him. And now Asante. And he's got some room on the wing here. And Asante's going forward. He's got Patino tracking him down. He's beaten two. Diego now looking for the run of Asante behind, but that ball cut out. And that is a throw in here for Manhattan Celtic as we're getting into the the final final couple of minutes here. And it looks like we're going to see a long throw from Kent. That ball put in the area. It's a really, really good ball put in. It's deflected away only as far as Kent. Now headed back. Little hang, on, hang on to Celtic. Looking up top for Arvidsson. Headed away. Fernandez now with John Sebastian. And Curtis looking to track down, can't get to it. And it's cleared all the way back to Kent. And he'll go back to Cabanas. And they'll go up top, back to Sean Doran. And they'll continue to play along the back line. Now to Kent. Kent will look to play this in the middle. It's cut out. And here's an opportunity for Jesus Patino. And a really tough challenge there. And Kent is going to pick up a yellow here. It's another tough challenge here. Kent finds his way into the book, his first bit of action. And Patino, Patino is up with a little bit of a hobble, but. And here's the opportunity. And it's a yellow. Patino whips a good ball in, punched away by Cabanas. And now an opportunity going forward, but Patino does well to cut it out. And now looking for Asante. He takes it down well, but just a bit too far in front of Asante. And we'll see Alexa Santa check in for Borgetto. Alexa Santa checks in now for Borgetto. He'll step no, no, wait, wait, wait. into the midfield. Figueroa. Johnny, Johnny, just up, yeah. He'll check out. Uh -huh. That ball headed with another Borgetto throwing. We have to be a two. We're not stuck. It's another good header, Borgetto. Losing possession here. Diego now for Manhattan Celtic. He's dispossessed. And Borgetto have an opportunity here down the wing. And Diego taken out there. And Curtis doing well to win the ball there. Fine foot. And Stephen Fernandez will be called for a foul there. Celtic go along well kept out and now it's an opportunity going forward and that deflection falls right back to Marcelo Russo who's got only Kent behind him and Kent able to track back and keep Marcelo Russo out and it'll be a Borgetto corner and Alessandro Canacati check in here Marcelo Russo has been dangerous in the second half He'll check out a positive forward, a positive half from the number seven. He's been a thorn on the side of the Celtic back line. Up 
Patino puts another good ball in the area, but it's just going to run past everyone. Curtis tracking down, but Kevin Rodriguez is able to take it. Well, it's an opportunity here for Fernandez. Manhattan Celtic in the last couple of minutes here are looking for that equalizer. And that's well deflected, but Celtic will hang on to the ball here. Kent now across to Sean Doran. Arvidsson. And that ball deflected and will go behind. And it's out for a goal kick. And we'll see another sub here. It's the goal scorer, Bordenka. And the Borgetto stub still coming off the pitch. That will be Jeffrey Gad who comes off. And now Manhattan Celtic will look to put another attack going forward. Arvidsson slips on the ball. We're going to find Marco going forward. It's well kept out. And a foul given there. More time off the clock. Morgetto tick closer to their second piece of silverware this season. There's already going to be time added on. So we'll see just how far the referee wants to take this. And it goes back up top. Oh, and it's a good opportunity here. Arbit Arvidsson had to deal with Yusuf. Celtic will throw in now on the far side. Looks to play up top to Diego, but it's cleared away once again by this Borgetto back line. They've remained resilient here. Haven't had too much thrown at them, but Celtic have made a couple runs towards that back line and haven't really found any luck here. And Patino does a really good job. Kent and Patino fighting down the line, but They'll go back out to Celtic once again, and they'll look to break forward. And it's now with Curtis. And they're looking for the run of Asante, but it's just behind him. And Asante and... Asante now. And they're going to say a foul here. And there's a... This is an opportunity for Manhattan Celtic to get themselves back into this match late. Arvidsson stands over the ball. Ticking into just the last moments of this match and this might be one of the Best and last opportunities for Manhattan Celtic in this match. Arvidsson whips a really good ball in at the middle. It deflects off the back of a Borgetto defender. Guys in the area of Diego can't hang on to it. It'll be cleared out. It's still back into the area. It's a ball whipped in towards the back post. Arvidsson's still there. Has numbers closing him down. Cross into the area! Marco Charnas. 
misses his opportunity. And it was flashed across net. And John Leon checks in. And that may have been Celtics' best opportunity of the match. Still some stoppage time to go. And that ball up top. And Bordenka's through here. Bordenka could have an opportunity, but Bordenka's touch is just a bit too long. Now Leon, there's a couple of Borgetto players tracking him down. Patino. Now Kanakati has the ball on the near side. It's cleared away. And it'll be a Borgetto throw in. To throw in here, looking for Kenakati down in the corner. Borgetto okay, doing well to keep it in the corner. And Celtic will clear it away. And Asante closes down well. Arvidsson, Celtic running out of time here, still 1 0 down. Bordeca closed down, but Celtic still going. And it looks like Diego probably would have been offside. And Peralta clears that one away. Celtics still with the ball here. Doran now with Arvidsson. He's got an opportunity here. The flag has stayed down. And it's an opportunity. It just flashes wide at the near post. Borgetto inch ever closer to being Kilby Cup winners. The Division Two, the top side in Division Two, taking down the runner-ups in Division One. But still a little bit left to go. Asante will try and head that, and we're calling a handball there. And Arvidsson has an opportunity here. Numbers piled forward here. Go, Borgetto! Arvidsson whips the ball in at the near post. Cleared up. Arvidsson grabs Patino. Now Kanakati. Alexis Santo with a really good one, too. A player down for Borgetto. Celtic still have a little bit of time here. And that one cleared, cleared away. Asante. Now Kent. Back, Alex. Back, Alex. With the long throw and looks up top. That one cleared away. Asante now. Still has an opportunity here. Still on the ball, Asante. He'll keep it in. Cleared away. Celtic with another throw in, and Kent can put another ball into the area. Kent throwing this one in. Headed away only at the back post. And it was a handball by Celtic. And it may be the last opportunity of the match for the men in hoops. And the referee will certainly be checking his watch now. Mouth whistle in the mouth. Alexis Santa, and it's the final whistle. Borgetto have won the Kilby Cup. Division two, Borgetto takes down the division one runners up. One nil. An improbable double for the men in black. It's an 
Angelo Bordenka goal that separates the sides. And two trophies on offer, two trophies. One now for Borgetto, and they have fully established themselves in the Cosmopolitan League now. We're gonna stick around, we're gonna get some interviews, but for right now, we'll leave you with the final score. Borgetto won. Manhattan Celtic nil.
See, it's here. The Borgetto FC first team posing for their photos here. John Kilby Cup winners for the first time in their club's history. We're going to try and get a word from Coach Ivo and from the goal scorer, Angelo Bourdain. All right, guys, that is it. That is our coverage done for today. Borgetto FC claiming their first John Kilby Cup final trophy. The Division II side beating EPSL side or EPSL bound side Manhattan Celtic 1 0 over 90 minutes here at Randall's Island. Borgetto securing their second trophy. This is of just the, the season. beginning. Just the beginning well, coach, for Borgetto FC. Coach, coach, come, come give us a word. You know, it's a, it's a big double for you guys. You it know, is. It is. First, first in Division Two. Now you have another final lurking ahead, beating an EPSL bound side. I mean, what does this say for Borgetto? Uh, listen, I, I've been saying all season long, our, our goal, we're, we're a brand new team. So, so our goal obviously was to get promoted to the first division. We took care of that uh, about a month ago. So we entered this cup to get some more games and see how we rack up and stack up against these first division teams. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, mission accomplished. I, I think we, we fit right in. We look forward to the first division next year. And, and like I was just telling the kids, this is just the beginning for Borgetto. It's our first year but we have major, major plans going forward. Yeah, and, and handling the two top first division sides, you yep. already beat Shamrock on the way yep. here and beating a side, both that are going into the EPSL. Yep. I mean, what, what kind of confidence does that give you guys going uh, forward into uh, Division One? It's it's great. We got one more one more step next week. We have the D2 uh, championship game. We'll want to take care of that too. Absolutely. But, but obviously, um, you know, we still think that there's room for improvement and, and we will. We have, we have three months now to get ready for for D1 um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that and, and I think I said it a couple of weeks ago and after our semifinal, Borgetto is coming and, and we're coming. <laughs> Coach, thank you so much. Thank congratulations much. on this. Thank you. Thank really you. appreciate you bringing us out. Thank and you. To all your guys, congratulations thank you. and the best of luck in the final. Thank you very much. And that'll be it, guys. Thank you for tuning, so much for tuning in on Facebook. We really appreciate it. Uh, check us out next weekend. We will have the Long Island Rough Riders here on Facebook, uh, both the men's and women's matches. That's a 5.30 kickoff on Facebook here at on Game and & Frame. Uh, come join us. Come join me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Once again, Borgetto, your John Kilby Cup champions, 1-0 win over Manhattan Celtic. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.